What's up, y'all? This your girl Gigs. Welcome back to the channel. I want to vent. You know what I'm saying? I want to vent. It's what? 1.52 a.m. in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, I've been stood up, y'all. I've been stood up today. And the fun the thing is, I've been stood up by just a homeboy. You know? A homeboy that there's some kind of attraction there and we've been friends for a long time you know probably three years three or four years damn it seems like everybody that's uh, i can't do this i can't do this because it's all coming back to me my first mistake was falling in love with my best friend in the past i'm not gonna try to do the same thing anymore like lose a friend because my friends back then who became my soulmate at least I thought he was um you know did me dirtier than anybody in my past relationships and the fucked up thing is he was the best dude that I ever dated and it was all a illusion. I was like under his spell. I was like dick drunk, bitch. Yes, dick drunk. I mean, it wasn't all about the sex because we wasn't fucking until like two and a half years after our friendship, you know. So it wasn't like it was all about sex. It was just, it was just that it just made it a little different. I don't know, but. I know I'm all over the place on this video, but today, what I'm trying to say is, I was cute today, earlier. I was actually cuter than what I'm, I am right now, you feel me? And, I was stood up. Yes, I was stood up. But the fucked up thing is, all day today, before 8.30 p.m., I looked a hot fucking mess. A hot fucking mess. I mean, I had uh, stains on my shirt. Um, uh, stains bleached bleached out. The, the pants that I had on was bleached out. Um, I stayed in my room all day. I fucking, you know. Now, when I say stains on my shirt, I just want you to know that I tried to wash the stains out. And, you know, they won't come out. They're just there. And I'm not going to throw my shirt away because of stains in them. They're clean stains. <laughs> Meaning that the shirt is clean, but it stains there. And I only wear it in the house. I won't go outside with the shit on. So, fuck you if y'all the type to judge people because they have stains in their shirt. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I looked at a hot mess earlier today. All the way to 8.30. I had one of the Bruno Mars days. I was not doing anything. I just want to stay in my bed. And therefore I did. I watched TV, text, Facebook. Uh, watch URL TV and Queen of the Ring. And um, the, here on YouTube. Shout out to them. Battle Rappers. You know I was watching that. And um, I just stayed in my room all day. I had a... How to, you know, don't do shit today, you know, day. That's what type of day I had, a don't do shit today day. So, I didn't do shit all day, and I looked like shit all day. And then I was texting, and I was texting my friend, and he just out of the booth at 8.30 said, do I want to go out? Do I want to go to the movies? And I texted this nigga back, yeah, sure, you know what I'm saying? What time you want me to be ready? You know what I'm saying? This was at 8.30. He said, I'm going to text you when I uh, get my kids joined or whatever. You know, I'm thinking he's going to put his kids to sleep. So, you know, that's going to take a while. So, you know, okay, I'll just wait till you call. So, um, 9.30 goes by. You know, it don't take long for you to put kids to sleep. You know what I'm saying? We talking about one and two year olds, I think. You feel me? It don't take fucking long, you know, to put kids to sleep. So, I just said, you know what? I'm not even finna fuck with them. Let me get dressed. Got dressed. Did my makeup. 
looks cute, y'all. Let me, let me show y'all. Because I Instagram pictures and shit. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I ain't showing y'all nothing. Just go on my Instagram and you'll see it. All the links are below. <laughs> Anyways. Instagram, the pictures looking cute and everything. Makeup was on point. You know, disappointed. But my makeup looked it better just a few hours ago. It looked, it looked it good. I washed it off. You know, I got on my PJs now and shit. So... 10.30 came. I text him. What's going on? You know. He said, I told you I was going to text you. And I was like, please. Please, please, please. Don't tell me that I got dressed for nothing. Please don't tell me I got dressed for nothing. He was like, I told you to wait till I call you. But no, you didn't get dressed for nothing. I'm going to call you. Whatever, whatever. Or text me or whatever. I think that's what he said. Let me not lie on this nigga. But hold on, let me just make sure that's what he said. Give me a minute, people. He, he just said that he, he told me he was going to call me, whatever. It's 1.59 going on 2 o'clock. No call. Still no call. I didn't text him no more, you know, after that. I was just like, you know, whatever. Nigga even had nerd to comment on my goddamn picture. I ain't messing with shit. The picture that I got dressed to go to the movies to see him. Uh, see a movie with him. You know, he's just a friend, though. And um, I came to the conclusion, you know, it was just tonight. You know, it's, it's just tonight that this just so happened. Four days shy of my birthday. My birthday is in four more days. Shout out to all the Leos out there. But I had a epiphany after that. And it just says that I don't need to try to date or have any type of romantic bone in my body for any of my male friends. Yes. I came to that conclusion. No new relationships with my male friends. No. You know how Drake came out with no new friends, no new friends, no, no, no. No new relationships with my male friends. No, no, no. No. Hell no. Mm -mm. Can't go there. I've been there and I've done that. Just recently. With the person that's supposed to be my soulmate. You know. We've been friends for two and a half years. This guy right here. We've been friends for like what three years. But um, me and my ex. We've been friends for. We've known each other for what five years. Four years. Four or five years. And two and a half uh, years of our relationship. We never even. You know he was just a friend. Then I caught feelings. Then, you know, one thing led to another. We together. We not together. And he left me for the chick that he was with before when we were friends. He left me for her. So, no new male friends. No relationships. No new relationships. That's what I'm trying to say. For real with my male friends uh that was the epiphany that i had after this shit he my homeboy too he cool you know we cool i'm mad i'm mad but you know we cool he's my buddy you know it is what it is but yeah i can't do it i can't do it no so anyways i guess i've been in enough and i'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep you know and I can't wait till my birthday come. I probably won't even do no video to after my birthday because really, I've just been on another planet for the past two weeks, so maybe more than that, three weeks. And um, I have I come back, you know, to Earth to do my videos when I get ready to, but I don't stay on Earth long. I go back to the other planet. And, you know, yeah. 
don't know how y'all handle y'all stress. You just let me handle my stress the way I want to handle my stress. Don't judge the way I handle my stress. That's all I'm trying to say. But anyways, um, this is your girl Gix. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, and all the other shit. Tumblr. Yeah.